Hey folks, how we doing? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy early stream. We did it early for once today, an hour early. Look at that. Look at me go. It's, well, it's because I gotta end the stream early. I'm sorry. But shall we jump right into the streaming thing? Because we've got a lot of work to do and we are on a time crunch today because I gotta strictly end the stream today before 1230 my time and it is currently 945. So I have a very strict one o'clock appointment that I cannot be late to. So we've got stuff to get doing here and going and all that things. And let's got the YouTube recording going. We're literally, just, this is where we logged out on Wednesday's stream. Have not been on, on at all except to take a screenshot. We are on day 31 it is ending right now. Day 32, there we go. And I figured today, what is that direction? East? Let's go east. We haven't went east quite yet. We went west, we went south, we went. We came from the north, and I wanna go east for a little while here. The things that we are on the lookout for is another village so that we can get some carrots because we don't have carrots yet. And on top of that, uh, the next thing that we're on the lookout for is a jungle so that we can get melons. Right now, I believe we have pumpkins. Actually, I'm gonna double check and verify that here first. Uh, but if we can get melons, we can set up a pumpkin and melon farm so that we can start getting some crazy emerald generation going through the five farmer villagers that we have. So that's what I'm thinking is first step for today is if we can do that because we have 21 pumpkins, we have zero melons. Okay, we're on the search for melons, everybody. Is there any way to get melons outside of the jungle? Is it just, is it just jungle? Because if it's just jungle, that's kind of sad. Find melons in a savanna village. Okay, so there was a village over there, or there was a savanna over there, but I think we try this direction first and see what we can get. Anything in the bottom of the ravine? Not really. There's some iron, but we kind of are beyond that. Kind of beyond like the get every bit of iron you see around you days of Minecrafting. I'm realizing now that I should probably not have this like music going so loud because then uh, that's all you're gonna hear in the video is random clips of music. You ski or mountain bike? I used to do both growing up, uh, and then I fell off my bike when I was, um, <laughs> funny enough, I used to mountain bike and do a lot of like intensive mountain biking, and then I was riding my bike in my neighborhood to go like in the summer, like I think I was like 15, I was going to meet up with some friends at like the, the school nearby to play basketball. And some lady ran me off the road and I landed on my bike and ha like on the ground, but I stupidly stuck my arm out like that and almost completely fractured every bone in this area. And I had a water polo tournament the next day. And so I got super scared because I was like, oh my God, that's my arm that I throw with. Like, and I just almost shattered everything. And because she was basically flying down the middle of the road, I swerved off to get off the side, hit a pothole, and the full-on tumble like flipped over twice and then landed with my arm sticking straight out to the side. Thankfully, did not break it. But after that happened, I was just like, "Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm good without biking. I think I'm good without bikes. Like I can, I can live without <gasps> tall grass, too tall grass." And so since then, I kind of stopped. I literally, I've been on a bike maybe. I think I could count the number of times I've been on a bike since then on my hand. <laughs> so I really just don't do it much anymore because I got so terrified of like, oh God, like I could actually like ruin everything. One meal, more melons maybe. Yeah, we just, I literally, if we can get any melon seeds and then we'll go back home. That's all, all we need is some amount of melon seeds to take with us. And one melon should give us like nine or 10 seeds. And then after that, we get back home. We'll bone meal the stem up and be able to get a lot rocking in there. I want to build, I think Nembom or El Mango were the first ones to make the design for like that super pumpkin melon farm. That's just like the square that just produces insane amounts of it. And I want to build that because I know how to build it. Uh, and we should, honestly, I think we have the resources ready to go at home to be able to build it. So it's literally just going to be uh, getting it done when we get back there. What do we want to break here? I guess we can put the crafting table down. Craft up the iron ingot. And then we can get rid of these three nuggies. That's that's the play. That's the play, everybody. That's how we manage an inventory here. And we wait. Ah! Ah! And grow. 
Let's go, melons. Thanks a lot, melons. Melon. Melons. We need you, please. We need the melon. Ice queens, thanks so very much. We need the melon. It's all for the melon, everybody. It's for the melon. I guess I could have dropped my 15 sand, but that's fine. I like my sand. <gasps> There's a bell we can steal. Is this how we summon the melon? We take the bell. We take the bell and we summon the melon. Please. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Come on now. If you break the fully grown stem, it will drop seeds. Mm, I don't, don't want to risk that one. We're not in a huge rush. I mean, we're just on like a time limit of 100 Minecraft days, but it's fine. Ding, ding, top of the morning to you. Wake up, Mr. Melon. Wake up. Let's get a move on. Shall we please move on, move on, Mr. Melon? Let's go. Any melons up here? Any melons growing over here? Thanks a lot. Huga, 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 the melon chant. <laughs> Eggs, thank you for the 100 base, dude. I appreciate that. Melons? Melons! Melons! <gasps> they exist! It does. Miracles do happen! Alright, I'm testing the theory. Fully grown stem. It does give seeds. Wow! You all, you didn't lie to me, Twitch chat. Thank you. There's three... It doesn't always give seeds. If it produces a melon, it does not give seeds. But we got seven seeds. Seven seeds. Let's go home. I got a box. That was per All right. Quick interruption from the stream. Perfectly timed for the FedEx guy getting here. And I got my new mouse. I have another mouse actually coming in the mail. This is not the mouse I was intending to use all the time. This was going to be my backup. But I got here first, so we have a new mouse. I need to set this up first because... The scroll wheel, so for those who don't know, for those who are here, is the scroll wheel on my current mouse is broken. So trying to scroll and get your items off your hotbar in Minecraft is very, very difficult. But yeah, so this is one of the, those Corsair Scimitar Pro. We also have one coming in from Extrify, actually, which is that company Kralis is a part owner of. He reached out to me a while ago and was like, hey, I want to send you a goodie box. And I was just like, a goodie box? Oh, boy. Um, sorry, of course I can't open this thing. <laughs> this sense. Oh, God. <laughs> so sensitive. Huh. Okay, I'm going to be flipping all over the place. What I can do in here to fix it for now. Uh, just do the controls. Mouse settings. Oh, God. Sensitivity. Just for now. Just go. Oh, my God. It's so fast. Okay, there we go. That's much smoother. Woo! Okay. Actually, I think I can fix this real fast. Let's do controls, mouse settings, sensitivity. I already play with a low sensitivity because I'm a gamer. Okay, there we go. Flip mouse zoomies. <laughs> the mouse is like, wee! <laughs> Hi, nitwit. How you doing? You staring at me? Mm-hmm. I see how it is. How do you feel about default mouse sensitivity in Skyrim? It's way too low. I did. I haven't played Skyrim in so long to be able to tell you that. All right, moving on. What do we have here? We have pumpkins. I grabbed melons, I know. And then we also have pumpkins, which we have hundreds of seeds for. Now what we need... Ooh, this mouse feels weird. It feels weird. I like it, but it still feels weird. Is having every other block. So we have all of our... The pumpkins and melons. Or like, the melons are here, right? Or, like, here. And then we're going to leave this as, like, a dead spot. And we're going to do pumpkins. Going across this entire way. And then this will be a dead row. And then this will be melons. This is a dead row. And then this is pumpkins. And then we're going to have a melon over there too. So then we're going to have this dead row. We have pumpkins. We really need to get a lot more melons rocking. That's the big thing. Dead row. And then we're going to have pumpkins. I want to make sure we have more melons than we have pumpkins. Just because they're honestly better when it comes down to this stuff. How this farm works is every single time one of these little stems grows or changes at all is... It actually triggers a redstone pulse off of an observer because there's a change in the block. 
So this guy, every single time he changes or grows or even puts a pumpkin or melon down on either of these blocks, it changes how the vine is structured, right? So what that's gonna do is actually make it so that the observer looks at that and then goes like, oh my God, and puts out a signal, which then we can track with that little redstone dust up there. And then all we do from here is we do a piston like this and a piston like that. So if we go sleep right now, that's the technical part of the farm done, I believe. And we need one more redstone. Hi, redstone. How you doing? Good to see you. Good to have you over there. Okay, so there's the techie part done. I'm going to leave those up there for now just so we can keep collection going and all that stuff. Actually, I need that trapdoor back. Into the, into the middle we go where I can put the shroom light right there. So that'll give us some light. Then we do that guy right there. And then we will need to light up the corners so that it's not mob spawn them or not. So there's enough light for the middle ones when we start encasing this in a box. Okay. Uh, so what we can do here is rails coming all the way down like this way. And I probably should put a powered rail here before I kind of get too far and forget about them. Uh, so this is kind of how I do the powered rails is we just do that guy and we do a powered guy on top Weave it all the way back around this way and maybe Keep simplicity's sake. Let's actually move them and just have them in the middle So every time we're going through the middle of a point. We just know we need to put another powered rail on here Just for now just gonna do a little bit of a box right there. So even villagers can't get in Okay, that's fine. That's functional system now we just need to wait for the melons to grow and then we can start putting some melons in there. But I think what we can do now is um, since the techie part is done, is we can do that is we got to hide it. Obviously, we don't want to just leave this sitting out here doing this thing. Uh, so we got to do some fun stuff. So we got that one going in throughout here. And then we also have this extra little section over this way, which we do need to hide. Thankfully, that can just be covered in here with that. We can do some sand on top of it. But I want to have access to get down into this point where we have the chests in there. So I was thinking we could jut this out maybe three blocks and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we can do that, that'll be okay. And then what I wanna have on the front of this is actually going to be some stairs. Uh, but what I was thinking, since we have room up here, we could put a building like a second story building or something right around here. We have to make it so the villagers can't jump over the wall and get outside because that could cause some major issues for sure. But if we did something like to here and then this guy actually needs to come all the way back to this point. Because this is otherwise going to be a huge box. It's just going to be a massive box that's not going to look good. So we need to find some ways to break up the box. Well, what we could do, it's like I was saying, is we have like a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we go one, two, th so that's four, five, six, seven. Then so bring it back two blocks. Then we break it over here. Then we bring it back. Bring it back now. Yeah, I like that. That could work. And then, because we need to have that little back entrance right back in here for ourselves to get in, we have that. I think what I'm gonna do there is a cut, a cut guy right there, like a net. Do you use Filmora before for you? Uh, I've never used Filmora, no. When I started out on YouTube, I was using uh, d d d d d d d uh, Vegas Pro, Sony Vegas Pro. And then uh, when I went full, when I got closer to going full time, I ended up buying the Adobe Suite or buying a subscription to the Adobe Suite. So that's what I use right now is just Adobe. So what level do we put that at? That those are down there. I'm thinking with this taller section, we can just put them right here. But that does mean that a villager could technically go out this way. So I'm going to raise this wall up. Yeah, that'll be fine. Oh, we were going to bump this section out. So maybe I don't do those guys right here. We'll use these somewhere else. I will find a spot for them. Because we don't need it on that side. I think it looks better if it's just on the front and the back instead of on all four sides. Because all four sides will mean it's very busy. 
Once you reach 100 days in this world, is it just done and ditched? Uh, we'll see how the video goes and how I can get it edited. I don't want to be running like a full-time third hard third Minecraft series right now just because we have so much stuff going on in the first two. Uh, but if I can find time to keep this one going and y'all want to keep this one going, uh, we'll, we will. I will. I don't think we're going to detail all of the back of it. We'll like do this corner and call it good. <laughs> we're never going to look back here. It's fine. We're being cautious on the time and also don't want to. It's a big one. But the big part of it is I just don't want to. Just eat the trash over the wall. It's not in our village. It's fine. It's okay. The community what we've been building up here over the last while has been so fun. It's been so cool to see everybody like jumping in on it, how much it's grown. The Twitch streams especially have been really fun to be doing more consistently. Oh, with the logs, we do have to raise this up another block on the corners at least. That's fine. We'll figure it out. Is that? No, oh, no. We got all. I was like, did we only get 21 seeds out of that? This is starting to look more interesting. Good, interesting, bad, interesting. Still up for debate. It's starting to look more interesting. There is shape to this build now. Oh, I almost fell off. But now what we want to do is rooftop garden because we can. But we could do, I was talking about that little sticky outy house structure here just to help break up this flat face, but I think we save that for later. Because what I want to do next is I think we work on expanding the wall out this way a touch so we can just shove this whole thing out here we can set up another i think we could use this same farmer villager in here that we have and hook up a carrot guy throwing right into him there and then we can have carrots flowing down in here too because we did just get some carrots so we just need one more farmer villager and we can make that rock so that'd be good i think we focus on that now because then if we get that crazy production on those then all we have to do is, while we're working on the other things, we're passively going to be generating emeralds with, from those farms working. I keep forgetting that my scroll wheel actually works on my mouse now, and I didn't bring my bed with me. Oh, God! Love to see a build collab from you and Jem. Yeah, I haven't been able to work with Jem for a long time. Um, I think last time we worked... Did we do anything on... Oh, no, we're on day 42. I forgot to log last one. Did we do anything together on X-Life? I can't remember. I don't know if Gem and I actually built anything together. I know I was got to hang out with her quite often on there, but I don't think we actually built anything together. Come to think of it. Okay. Now we got to hoe this entire thing down to plant nine carrots. Because <laughs> I'm smart. Uh, do I have any cut slabs left? I think a cut slab here in the middle will look best. Yeah, perfect. So we got potatoes in there, which is sweet. We need to be able to get a hopper minecart sitting on this block right there. Hopper in here and another chest set up, but we only have 10 iron to our name. So we got to go do some iron mining. Can you go to the nether? The nether is very scary in this world. We spawned in a crimson forest and I want full enchants before we go back. We're, we're only on day 42 right now. We are nowhere. I kind of love that that's a fake door. I'm going to keep opening that. Just be like, what's in here? Oh, it's nothing. Um, but he's good to rock. He's rocking. That's great. There's no way to make a wheat farmer, is there? They can only farm bread, right? Because they pick up wheat and turn it into bread. Yes? I don't believe there's a way to create a wheat farmer. Can you actually press space above the emerald output to repeat the trade? Yep. I do know that. We were going to live in the mountains because we found a really cool looking zombie spawner. Like on literally day one. And then I was like, nah, fam, I want villagers. So I kept looking. And now we are here with villagers. It's great. At first, I remember in this update being like, man, villagers are going to be so overpowered. Like, that's absurd. Fire protection, we already have that no we don't we have blast protection i want i want regular protection to be honest unbreaking three was there any regular protection here thorns protection one i don't want protection one let's roll this Woohoo! we're getting some good enchants in this series holy cow what the heck oh no i don't want to put that in the inventory i want to put that back on we have protection three we got protection four we got nothing and we've got blast protection four with unbreaking three holy cow we need to get like aqua affinity and stuff but we are kicking major butt you need to fix that floor in that house 
Who left the floor in a house as sand? Who would do that? Come on. What type of person would do that in their Minecraft world? Gosh, can you imagine not doing the interior of a house? What kind of person would do that? Jeez. Will you ever uh, do another medieval survival world like you did with 116 with the desert village stuff? Uh, the building with whip world? Yeah, we're gonna, oh. That's where the villager lives. I made a mistake. I want that to be a slab, but I can't do a slab there. So we're doing this. Because I don't have another option. Unless we move. Nope, it's fine. It's fine. It's leaving it. We're fine. I can take this chest back with me, though. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. But, folks, that's going to have to do it for today's stream. I got to get out of here so I can make it to an appointment and all that stuff. So I do appreciate y'all hanging. We're going to be leaving it here at the end of day 43. We're kicking some major butt inside this world. Look at all those trees ready to be chopped down with the creeper hidden in them. We got another farmer set up today. I've got to figure out that little dark spot back there. What the heck's in there? Let me go over there real fast. I want to I wanna make sure that's not something that's going to spawn something in here. Ooh, it would have. Let's do that. Nice little, little open space. Carrot farmer is going to be doing his thing. We'll be getting them here soon. But I appreciate y'all hanging out. All the support today. Y'all are mad. Thank you so very much. We averaged over a thousand viewers again today, which is absurd. So cool to see that. <laughs> Something about just that fourth digit in there. It's just every single time I'm just like, what? You, what? That? What? This? We did this. That was. That We did that. Okay. Uh, we're going to leave it a raid off with somebody here, too. So let's go and check who's live. We're an hour early. So there might be some different people to raid today that I don't typically raid. So that could be super fun. It's the same people who are always streaming. The same people who always stream at the same time are streaming right now. You know what? We're actually going to go raid good old Scott. He is playing Among Us right now with a bunch of other folks. And so why not? Let's go ahead.